to the stage, a lovely lady, very funny performer. Please put your hands together for Holly Van Stratton! I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm shy. Let's talk about my vagina. <laughs> Recently, I went to see my doctor for the female dreaded annual exam, and she looks up inside of me and she says, oh my God. And I'm like, oh my God, what? She's like, you have the prettiest vagina I've ever seen. And I'm like, what, really? Nobody's ever said that to me before. Maybe I need to leave the lights on more often. I've been to her before like, many times. Is she drunk? I did just turn 50. Maybe my vagina's peaking. <laughs> So I'm, at the, I'm back at the doctor, I go visit her again, and she's, uh, I, not, not because I was sick, I was actually fine, I just wanted a vagina compliment. <laughs> she looks up inside and she said, oh my god, I'm like, what, what is it this time? She said, your, your cervix is so tight, I can't get my instrument up in there. And I'm thinking, not only do I have a you know, pretty vagina, I have a tight vagina. So she's like, take go home, take these pills, and insert them before you come back, and we'll do the procedure. She said, they'll relax me down there. And I'm like, I think my last night's date had said something similar to that. <laughs> so I go home, come back, and I have, you know, she's looking up inside me again, and she's like, where are the pills? And I was like, I inserted them four hours ago, just like you told me to. She's like, it's a miracle. They've never fully melted before. So now, I'm thinking, my vagina is not just pretty and tight, it's hot. <laughs> so she's figuring out if she can do this test, and the door opens and this guy walks in. He goes, hi, I'm from NYU, and we're testing these GoPros. You know those cameras people put on their bike helmets? It looks like a selfie, like a vagina selfie stick, okay? So I'm thinking, wow, my vagina might get a movie deal. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm in Thailand on vacation, and I go to a masseuse, and I'm waiting for the you know to be checked in, and they give me this towel and this little pouch. So I go in the room, I undress, and I open the pouch, and I put on the hairnet. My hair fits in it fine. I lay on the bed, and here comes the masseuse, and she says, with her finger, no, and she points to her head and then to her crotch. Come to find out, I guess I was covering the wrong bunch of hair. It was not a hairnet, it were underwear. So, I took my parents, I took my parents to St. Martin for vacation. My mom wanted to go to a beach, a nude beach. So off my parents go for a walk to see the sights. And uh, my mom still drools when she talks about that long, dong walk on Dick Beach. <laughs> so my parents met at 13, they started dating at 15, had me at 17. Growing up, people used to ask me what my full name was, so I would say Holly Backseat Van Stratton, thinking that I was made in the backseat. Well, my mom heard me, and she's like, don't ever, if I ever hear you say that story again, I'm going to tell you what really happened during that one miracle minute. <laughs> Recently, I was planning my 50th birthday destination party, and um, during spring break, and my friend said to me, why would your parents, what were they thinking? Why would they have you on spring break? Tickets are so expensive to get anywhere during spring break. And I said, you think that was planned? <laughs> so I go to the uh, tattoo parlor with my friend Natalie. She's getting a tattoo. She goes into the, the room, and she takes her pants off, naked waist down, gets up on the table. I'm looking directly at her crotch. My doctor's right, I have a pretty vagina. <laughs> I'm thinking, that thing's so, girl, that thing is so ugly, no piece of jewelry is going to bedazzle that. <laughs> Alright, so I do, I get Charlie horses when I'm having sex. You know that cramp in your leg that you just have to shake it out, sometimes it takes a minute or two? Well, I'm having sex, I get a Charlie horse, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it, I'll keep going. So I do the leg thing. So this guy says to me, I knew it would be good, but I had no idea it would be this good. <laughs> he said, can we do it again, like right now? And I said, can I fake another Charlie horse? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here.